Andreas here at Zauberberg Kennels. On high demand I want to provide some audible video today uh, about German commands. Um, of course when you see it written down it's like okay how am I gonna say this? Um, you don't have to say it trying to be a German guy you can just say it the way it would be best for you to say it. So I will give you um, a practical example here that you can really see it from the German mouth. So the first one uh, should be probably uh, sit, which is sitz in German. That's how we say it. Sitz is sit. I say it again, sitz. And when we train, I want to make a difference between sitz and platz. So I emphasize the S a little bit. I would say sitz. So let's go to the down. Next one would be down. Down in German is Platz. Platz. The next one could be heel. Heel in German is Fuß. You would spell that probably F O O Z S, something like that. So German command for heel is Fuß. So now we have Sitz, Platz, Fuß. Now if we send the dog to a place like the doggy bed or do a send away, uh, the most difficult word I think to say is voraus. Voraus. It's spelled V-O-R-A-U-S. Voraus. Voraus. Next one on the list could be the word aus, which means out in terms of let go. Again, is aus, a u s, aus. Most of the people kind of think about out, I guess, and put a t at the end typically. But there is no t, it's spelled a u s, aus. So another one would be a recall that uh, we train actually by name and we use the word here right after the name. So if uh, the dog's name is Rex, it would be Rex here. And it's spelled H-R-H-H-I-E-R, -H -H -E here. And it sounds like just the English spelling of H-E-R-E. -E. So it's the name Rex here that would be used for the recall. Another one is the word stay. Stay in German is bleib. B-L-E-I-B. Bleib. Bleib means stay. Bleib. Now, let's talk about the release command. We, ch we thought about over the years what kind of release command we, we can use and we went from okay to yes and all these English words that are commonly used in a training session to imply maybe that uh, you understand what the trainer was saying. So the dog got up because he got released. So if you train in German that uh, will hopefully not happen and the release command we use is the German word for free. And the German word for free is frei, F-R-E-I, just like French fry or fry supermarket. Frei, F-R-E-I, frei, means free. It is used to release the dog. Another one that we could probably implement in German that we use would be kennel. Kennel in German is Zwinger. It's spelled Z-W-I-N-G-E-R, Zwinger. Kennel means Zwinger. Zwinger in German means kennel, Zwinger practice. Zwinger. 
Zwinger and Faraus are probably most difficult words to say if you train your dog in German commands. Anyway, that was it, I believe. If you have any questions, just ask us and we can translate your English words into German that you want to use possibly uh, in your dog training. We have trained all kinds of dogs in all kinds of different languages. It's a fun thing and we recommend it actually that uh, you train maybe in a different language if you have a dog that uh, lives in the household. And now let's say he is trained in English and you say to your wife, uh, Norma, come here, sit down, I want to talk to you. So now you have already given about three commands within a sentence that were not meant to be for the dog. He, he might show a slight response and you don't react to it, don't reinforce it, that the dog figures out, hey, um, wait a minute, that's that sounds so familiar but nothing happened for me or to me so maybe I have to look for other pieces of information that make that language more reliable to understand for me so in order to avoid that if you train a dog that lives in your house in a language that is not used in your house then you have a private number for your dog so there's no errors think about it the same is if you have two dogs and one is trained in English or German and the other one is trained in Italian. You can talk to one dog and have some demands and you don't have to worry about whether or not the other one responds. It makes it fairly easy to operate two dogs because if you say Zitz and both dogs are trained in German, you better make sure that they both are going to sit. If not, you will dilute your training and your signal control and you will have to watch both of them and reinforce both of them either way, negatively or positively. And it's hard to do for a human being to operate two dogs reliably like that. I can tell you that in my book, addressing a dog by a name, make everything sound the same, is not really signal control. If you watch some guys out there that's trying, that are trying to do that, it's more likely a body language kind of thing. It doesn't have anything to do with addressing the dog by name.